Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, bonus video today. Um, going over the Thanid Coup, the new mini expansion coming August 3rd, I believe. Um, we got some reveals from the dev stream. If you haven't checked out the dev stream, uh, check it out on uh, Gwent's official YouTube channel. I'm just going over the three cards they revealed. Two of them seem like pretty decent. Well, one seems bonkers. Uh, the other one, uh, not so great. And then one, it's a really interesting card. I'm excited to give it a try. Um, but uh, as we've seen with the other one, it's mage focused. So um, the first card, legendary, they gave out, which I, this card is going to be insane. Um, I guess unless you steal it off your opponent with uh, Alchemist. <laughs> and then it's just kind of okay in your nof guard list but um the first one is uh to see a devries devries um i got a feeling this is going to be a part of a, a triptych art maybe it looks like it is i don't know just the way she's looking i could see her being side by side with some other mages maybe um but uh it's six strength so it's it's kind of hard to kill. 12 provisions, so you know it's going to have something wacky. Deploy. At the end of this turn, reset the order of all allied mages that use their order during this turn. So, you play it. It's just a 6. But it resets everything you played that's a mage. So, let's go over some order cards that uh, have, or and with Northern Realms, we should go with, huh? Well, there's neutrals too. Um, Gerhardt's going to be one that's going to be massive. I mean, you're gonna if you flip this and this, you're going to get the um, if he if you proc'd it instantly, you get the uh, the six boost off of this. Um, orders, 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 orders. I mean, Yennefer is, but that's only a well. It could be something big. Um, Adilko, that's a possibility. She's a mage. Um, Isabel, more milk. Get out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. None of this. This card, don't don't even do this. Just don't. Um, Istrid could be huge. I mean, being able to redraw your whole deck again. Even if you just draw two cards. I mean, that's bettering your hand or possibly boosting stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, a, a lock, a second lock. That's nice. Um, another. Well, this is deploy, not orders. Uh, seal, the Tankerville. That's a two. But I mean, like the patience card, I think, is where it's gonna really like pop off with you know your students and the new card that they got. Um, there's probably some other ones that I missed, but. Um, this could be a huge... This is like a draug for mages. I mean, there's just so much potential for this card on, like... It's 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 scary. Like, this card's scary, I think. If you... If, if you're able to proc... You know, something like this. These bigger ones. Or if you can yoink this and play it with rinse for double. Turning things into ones. I think it's really going to shine on the bronze cards, but getting some of these other other abilities are going to be pretty massive. Uh, I really like this card. Um, really excited to play it. Um, but yeah, this one's nuts. This one's nuts. Um, the next one is the Eratusa Student. Uh, so she's a 4 for 4. Basic. She's a common, so no... Uh, Nothing super special here. She's just patience, order ranged, boost an allied unit by zero. So she's kind of like the uh, the Bannard student, but she's an Eratusa student. She boosts, he damages. Um, nothing spectacular. Art's okay. I mean, she's water, he's fire. It's 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 just a nice complimentary card. It's cheap. I mean. You can let it chill for a while and res it later on. But, I mean, you're going to put it in a mage deck. I mean, it's cheap. 
And then the last one. Now this card's really cool. I like this card a lot. So I believe it's Dimvin Divindera. Divindera? It sounds like uh, a a uh, a continent where the Thundercats live. Um, she's a four for five. She is a mage too. Um, and she's deploy melee, set an allied scenario to the final chapter, which is really cool. So you can um, proc it, I believe, to uh, instead of if you don't draw your aristocrat or whatever, you could play this and it'll it'll just proc it, which is kind of cool. It's like a backup. Or deploy ranged, refresh the order of an allied location. So, you can put another card in the deck so that you can add more cards to mill. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> um, this would go really good in Skellige, being able to heal again. But see, it doesn't have a secondary, like if you don't have the, uh, you have to run a scenario with this. So you have to go scenario location with this. And because if you don't draw one or the other, this card is the four. Um, let's check out the locations, actually. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Well, the damage one, you probably want, uh, Land of a Thousand Fables. Uh, there's some, there's some meme synergy right there. Um, I like this one. This one, uh, the Gorth Gadiv. Uh, the movement one might not be too bad either, especially if you're, a uh, a Yurden friend. The heal seems okay. Um, I don't. I don't see this being played with Northern Realms. It's a mage, well, maybe, but I mean these are spawning witchers, so it doesn't really make sense. I don't think. Um, two drones doesn't seem that viable. The hideout now that might be a possibility. They don't really go um, devotion, and then uh, give three armor probably not. Uh, you're probably looking. I, Land of a Thousand Fables seems like it could be something that can really, yeah, something that's really you can do something with it. Let me know what you guys think on that one. I think that one's gonna pop off pretty hilarious for some Dandelion Show stuff. But I think mostly the these, the Skellige and the uh, the Nilfgaard one, I think, are the ones that you're going to see it most on. And the Hideout, for sure. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Although it doesn't give you... You don't get any profit or anything off this. It's just straight poison, but... I don't know. But um, more reveals coming. Uh, Wednesday, one for me. I think you guys are really going to like it. Really, really like it. It uh, It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a good time. I love reveal season because I get to do... I, I know for sure I can do a, a video every day just going over... A little bit of stuff sometimes like I said I I can't wake up early enough to get a video recorded especially if I don't win I don't post wins because it just turns into a uh, fiesta in the comments unfortunately but uh, thank you guys so much for everything uh, I'll have another one of these out tomorrow for the partner reveals um, you guys are wonderful I appreciate each and every one of you I'll see you next time